coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the f***ing fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede, at least. And how is the new... prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Welcome back to the Expanse. Hmm, let's see. Being Captain isn't all fun and torpedoes. Sometimes it means having to talk to Khan. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. <clears throat> Destination Pirates, goodbye. Um, let's ask about destination. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the f out there. So, ever hid that treasure? Wanted it far the fuck away. Boy, that woman's got a nasty mouth. Pirates? Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. Boy, she's a joy to be around, ain't she? Ah. Objectives, mission logs, no objectives. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Let's talk to Virgil. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Yeah, let's check in with the crew. What is this? Poof, Flota. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. Uh -huh. okay. Where he kept his scotch. I don't see myself drinking a dead man's scotch anytime soon. Eh, maybe if things get desperate. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's look what are these? There. Decryption keys? Pushing voila! I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? Oh, Wimps Enterprise Executives. A 
goodness. You are the must log done locked. Anything else? Anything in here? Nope. Let's go down and talk with the crew. All right, let's see. Where's everybody at? I think I looked at that before. Whoever took Con's barbecue sauce is a lot braver or stupider than I am. <laughs> I stole my barbecue sauce. I've narrowed it down according to the bridge logs. Likely corporate is <laughs> drum or Maya. Turn yourself in and it will go better for you. Oh my gosh. Get them con. see how they doing. Arlen treats Rayan like he's the weak one, but I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Langbelt to swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. Hello, Khan. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I mean, I need to know what it was about. Alright. What's on your mind, Captain? Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but Cox was a habitual liar. First he tried to murder you, then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Fair enough. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. Anything else back here? Cargo Bay. This is a big ship. What's up, girlfriend? Barbecue sauce, music playing. Uh, let's look first. I suppose this is what downtime looks like for Maya. Uh, oh, there's the barbecue sauce. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. Uh, why me? 
I'll decide what I like and don't like. It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. Uh, Hans Han seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. <laughs> right. Uh, I think, okay. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um about that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. Um, felt sorry for you held my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure, we can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. <laughs> Let's pretend for a moment that we did touch helmets. So what? You're clearly obsessing over such an insignificant moment. It's sad. Bullshit. From the look in your eyes, I would have thought helmet clinking was Belcher third base. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or 
we could go back to my room and settle it. Mm. By fighting? I'm confused. Are you still trying to fight me? Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall. Watch out. Wow. She likes the idea. Honestly? I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, where did that take us? Through there. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Yeah, girl, you know it is. Definitely. Fucking finally. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. Watch out. Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? Bad news. Please subscribe, like, share, ring that notification bell. Love you, appreciate you, bless you. See you in the next one. Goodbye.